and welcome to Jersey Library's collection of weird, wonderful, or at the very least interesting facts about Christmas that you possibly didn't know about. Fact 1! Did you know that the average Brit, that includes us in Jersey, right, consumes around 7,000 calories on Christmas Day? Wowzers! Elasticated trousers! Not only that, but you'll reach your recommended daily allowance about 2pm. Thanks in no small part due to something like what we find in... Fact 2! Christmas pudding, not to everyone's taste, and even the people who like it set it on fire. But did you know that it started out in the 14th century as a soup-like porridge called frumenty, made of beef and mutton with raisins, wines, currants and spices? Yummy! Fact 3! It wasn't just desserts that were a little bit off in the past. Between the 16th and 19th centuries, global temperatures were significantly lower than normal in what was known then as a little ice age. Charles Dickens, remember him, grew up in one particular frosty period and experienced snow for his first eight Christmases. In fact, when wee Charlie was only two years old, he possibly would have attended a fair on the actual River Thames, which had frozen over. The only time since then where the river has frozen over was in 1963, but they didn't hold a fair in it. Boom. Hey, you know who knows how to celebrate at Christmas? The Japanese. Fact four, every Christmas season, an estimated 3.6 million Japanese families treat themselves to some KFC in what has become a nationwide tradition. How? What? Why? Well, apparently the whole thing started in 1970 where Takeshi Akurara, the manager of the first KFC in Japan, had the idea of a party barrel to be sold on Christmas to Westerners who were missing their traditional Christmas turkey lunch. What sort of like roast turkey? Deep fried chicken. By 1974, the marketing was taken to a national level. Kentucky for Christmas, the campaign was called. It was a hit and quickly became a tradition for millions of families. Fact 5! Let's stay aboard the fun fact-finding aeroplane and touch down in Europe where we learn a few alternative names for Santa Claus. In Italy, La Bafana. France, you ask? Père Noël. And in Russia? Dead Morose. But what about in Iceland, I hear you cry? Well, which one? Because in Iceland, they have not one, not two, not eight but 13 Santas that visit over 13 days leading up to Christmas, leaving gear for sore, rotten potatoes, depending on how well behaved you've been. And they are called... Sheepcoat Clod, Gully Gork, Stubby, Spoon Licker, Pot Scraper, Bowl Licker, Door Slammer, Skier Gobbler, Sausage Swiper, Window Peeper, Doorway Sniffer, Meat Hook, and Candle Stealer. Known collectively as... Wait for it. The Yule Lads. And in case you were wondering who on earth keeps all of these mischievous sounding chaps in line, their mother is a scary old lady called Greela, who kidnaps naughty children and boils them in their cauldron. Bit of a horrific thing to tell a child. But ask yourself, have you ever met a naughty Icelandic child? No! Because they've all been boiled alive. We hope you enjoyed those facts, and it's given you something to drop into small talk over the holidays. If you would like to learn more about the world, its people, history, traditions, myths, and eating habits, then why not try some non-fiction books? We've got literally thousands. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.